Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 22 big money bolos coming your way. Um, I am your featured seller. These are bolo items that I sold on eBay. These items sold faster on eBay. Um, I cross post most of my items to Mercari and Poshmark. And I do, I do do videos on what sold videos on Poshmark and Mercari. So you can kind of see which items are selling quicker on the different platforms. Um, I do cross post my items with List Perfectly, which is an extension that helps you list cross post things quicker. It's amazing. I have uh, videos that show you how that works. If you're interested in trying it, you can use coupon referral coupon code Bolo Buddies one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. Um, there's information down in the description of the video also. And we're going to get started with some big money bolos. Uh, let me get my screen share up. Maybe. And here we go. And there is one. I think this is the video. Yes. You guys are not going to believe it. I could not believe it myself when I looked up comps. Amazing. Okay. So this item I picked up at a garage sale. And I want to say it was like 2 or $3. And I was like, wow. That's a really like, one. what's wrong with it, you know? And I looked up comps and it, it was selling. It had decent comps, good sell-through rate. And I was like, you got it. Here's your 2 or $3, whatever it was. And I sold this for $65. It sold really quick and the buyer paid shipping. And I just use my camera when I go out. So maybe I should have kept it. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, the next item I sold is this Team Umizumi remote control car. And I have another one of these that I need to list that's just the car missing the remote. And they sell well even without the remote. So if you find the remote or you just find the car, definitely pick it up because people will buy them separately. Um, so I took a best offer of $48 on this and I got it at a garage sale for a buck and the buyer paid shipping. And this is the Little People Halloween Trick or Treat House. Never seen one of these before. I was super excited to find it. I had a really good feeling it was going to be a bolo. When I saw it, I paid $5, I believe, for this. And the buyer paid shipping and I sold it for best offer of $60. So definitely don't overlook those um, Fisher Price little people because uh, in a video I just did, my other big money bolo video, I show you another one that sold for big money. And I think there's another one in this one. Also. Yeah, I, I went to this garage sale and they had tons and they were all the older ones that you can't get anymore. The next item came from a garage sale and I believe it was, um, a, maybe she was a teacher. And this is new old stock. It's PBS Kids and it's like 3D word magnets. You can see like it says rooster and it's shaped like a rooster. It's kind of cool. But um, I got this for like a couple bucks. It was one of those deals where I bought so much stuff and it was just a bundle price. So it may have only been a dollar. I'm not even 100% sure. But it sold for $46.20 and the buyer paid shipping. And it sold pretty quick. The next item... Oh my goodness, are you guys ready for this? So I bought a bunch of Bionicle items, uh, Lego Bionicles. And I was clueless about them. And the first thing I did is I'm going to search um, solds. I'm just going to put Lego Bionicle in. And this guy came up as like really high solds. And I'm like, I think that one is in the box. <laughs> and I'm like, so I go out and I dig and it's already put together. And I'm like, that's definitely the one. And I was, you guys, I was so excited. Um, like generically sh searching Lego Bionicle and the most expensive one that's selling is sitting in the box that I have. Like, what are the odds of that? You know, you always think, oh, I wish I had that one. Well, I had it. So it was super exciting. Um, I listed it for 210. I I said that it looks to be 100% complete. I I didn't see anything missing from the pictures I looked at, and I sold it. I think it was within 24 hours, maybe 36 hours. It was so fast. I took a best offer of $190 on this guy. I was so excited. 
most of them are still sitting in the boxes because I have to figure out who they are, what goes with what. I have a whole box that's just parts and I'm just like, it's overwhelming. I did get them out this weekend and I found two or three more that I'm going to list. Like another one I sold for 33. Um, so they're not all big money, but if you find this guy, I think it's, I don't even know how to say his name. T-O-A, Toa, Mata, Nui. <laughs> I don't know, but definitely look for him. $190, buyer paid shipping. And yeah, that, and I sold this, it's been a little while ago. I'm a little behind on my videos. So, um, everything was good. The next item I sold are these jockey nylon men's briefs. Um, they are nylon and I don't know. Um, I have a video on, um, I, I can't remember what I called it. Something like, uh, don't be afraid to pick up these items or some people shy away from these items. And it's basically vintage underwear and socks and, you know, different things like that. And some of them are just, they go for crazy money. So definitely go check out that video. Um, these sold for $37 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And these were a thrift store fine. The next item I sold is this vintage musical praying angel and she works. She plays silent night and I sold her for $42 and the buyer paid shipping. And she came out of a mystery box, one of my Christmas mystery boxes. And the next item I sold is the Fisher price Thanksgiving set. Another one to be on the lookout for you guys. I'm telling you, most people look at these and they're like, I'm not buying those little people. They don't sell good. Those are bread and butter. Nope, not all of them. These sold for $49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Simpsons. Uh, this is the courtroom figure. And I sold this for $38.25 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you guys watch my videos, I have sold so much Simpsons stuff. I bought a huge, huge lot at... Um, a thrift store for $10 and I brought it home and I was going to sell all the figures and just donate the, um, the little playset things. And my husband's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, I don't want to take the time to figure out which figure goes with which playset, and you know, all of that. I I'm lazy. I'm a lazy reseller. Sometimes he's like, I'll do it for you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he put them all together and I'm so glad he did because I have pro probably made three or four times the amount I would have made if I just would have sold the figures separately. But most of them had like their little, like this has the handcuffs and the whatever that thing's called. Is it a gavel that you hit? Anyway, I've done really well with the Simpsons. Somebody's like the Simpsons that just keep giving because I've sold so many of them. So definitely be on the lookout. Okay. So I went to a garage sale and these sold really fast. Now they sat for a long time because I didn't want to deal with them. Um, I didn't want to find a box and it was heavy. And I mean, it was a big heavy box guys, but, um, I went to the garage sale. All of this stuff was $10 and I could have sold them separately, maybe for more, probably for more, but I didn't want to deal with it. Um, it would have been bread and butter and I like bread and butter. Don't hear me wrong. But for some reason, I just didn't want to mess with these. I didn't want to figure out who they were. I just, there were too many. So I lotted them up and I listed them and they sold for $148 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Um, maybe a reseller is buying them. I have no idea, but 10 bucks into 148. I'm like, awesome. Done. Done. The next item I sold, I picked up at a thrift store. I believe I paid eight for these. No, I'm sorry. I paid 10, 10 for these at a thrift store. And I sold these for $67.20. They're vintage Wizard of Oz set. They're 14 inch dolls from Hamilton Gifts from 1987. So they're pretty cool. I think two of them had the tags still attached. The next item, and I think that went internationally. Okay, here's the one you've been waiting for. Serendipity Books. If you guys have not heard of these, they are a major bolo. Um, this is what they look like. And they're just little thin books. This is what's on the back. They are vintage. I had 26 of them. You guys ready for this? $175 I sold these for. How awesome is that? 
and I have some more that I need to, um, that I need to get listed. So definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for these huge. I had no idea, but whenever I can get books in, um, that are a series or a group that are all the same, I pick them up like the babysitters club goosebumps. Um, what's the other one? Uh, the boxcar kids, like all those vintage books that, you know, um, are series. I always pick them up. So, um, there you have it. That's one you might not know about. The next item I sold are these ABC refrigerator magnets, you guys. How cool are these? And they have um, Braille. Um, so, you know, you can touch them with your finger and it tells you the letter. Let me see if I can get a close up. It's kind of hard to see. It's like the L has the three dots, which is super, super cool. Um, so I sold these for... $40 and I picked them up at a garage sale. I think they were $2 or maybe three for the whole bag. The next item was given to my husband. It was like um, an estate clean out. And for some reason, like they threw so much stuff away. And on the last day, I don't think it was like a sale. I just think somebody was cleaning out an estate and it was somebody my husband works with. And he's like, Hey, do you want to come get some of this stuff? I held some of it out that I thought, you know, was decent. And I think this was one of the items and my husband just gave it to me and I'm like, okay. And I sold it for $85 and the buyer paid shipping. I just had a good feeling about it. It's Kroger, it's vintage, it's the Columbus Zoo. It's a neat, neat print. So definitely an exciting uh, bolo. The next item I sold is this Jimmy OSU. This guy sold fast. He's one of those animated singing um, uh, Jimmy figures, G-E-M-M-Y. If you guys see it and it works, and you can get it for a good deal. Definitely pick those up. They're typically a bolo. I sold this for $106.25. It sold super fast. And I think I paid $5 for this. I think. That, ah, gosh, I don't want to say for sure. But it was between 5 and 10 But I'm pretty sure it was 5 The next item I sold is this vintage Barbie's Cousin Francie. It's a 1996 reproduction. I paid $4 for for this, this was one of those um, from that Barbie haul, and I sold her for $46.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Christopher Radko ornament. I could have sold this for more, but it said K-92, and um, the people that sold it to me, it was a garage sale, I'm like, what is this? And they're like, oh, that was for our daughter and the year we gave it to her, so they marked them, which you know decreases the value slightly. So uh, I did take a $40, I'm sorry, a $45 offer on this. I would have held out for more if it didn't have that mark on it, but I felt like $45 was pretty good. I think I paid $3 or $5 for these each. I had another one I sold also, but I can't remember. It was either three or five. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. So $45 plus shipping for this. The next item I sold is this Nerf... Um, it's like a blaster gun, but it's for uh, girls. It's got like the girl colors, I guess. But um, I picked this up at a thrift store. It was $5 and it was half off. So I got it for $2.50. It sold pretty quickly for $38.25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this No Booze Allowed. Um, it's a Jimmy. Again, there's that brand. I always pick it up. And I am trying to think of where I got this. I am like drawing a complete blank. Complete blank. Man, I'm usually really good at remembering. I'm guessing it was a garage sale. But anyway, I sold this for $100. And um, the buyer paid shipping. And I don't remember what I paid for it either. Probably $10. It's usually what I pay for them maybe 15, uh, depending on which one it is. But yeah, I sold it. Oh, I remember. This is why I couldn't remember. My sister gave it to me. Um, yeah, so I got it free. I, I was like, why can I not remember where I got this? And yeah, that's why my sister gave it to me. So $100. Thanks, sis. All right, the next item is this Nasomato. It's a parfum spray. 
So um, it has no lid. It's a perfume, basically. It's a vintage perfume. Uh, this one, most of the ones that are do better, they say that perfume. For, is that even how you say it? Perfume. I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. Anyway, I took a best offer of $85 for this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, and it sold very quickly, is this latch hook kit. I paid $5 for this at a garage sale, and I do pretty well with latch hook. I didn't think it would sell as quickly as it did, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, where's my water? It sold fast for $38, and the buyer paid shipping, and I actually got two of them, and the other one sold shortly after. So definitely bolo for these items. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. There's going to be a couple um, video options that pop up. Also, a subscribe picture of me. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to click on that and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Check out another video, and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. I think I said that twice.